Cowboy fans and YouTubers. It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you, and they're a little therapeutic, you know? You just have those days when you just got everything going right for you. It feels good. It feels good. So far today, I'm having a good day, you know? Nothing going wrong. Spend the time with the fam. It's a good hump day. Uh, as far as Cowboys go, they're saying all the right things. They're doing all the right things. You have uh, uh, McCarthy looking at George Edwards, the former Minnesota Vikings defensive coordinator. Uh, if it sounds familiar, it's because he was our linebackers coach for the Cowboys from 1998 to 2001. Uh, he doesn't really have any open positions on the Cowboys defensive staff, but it looks like they're going to create a position for him. Uh, who knows what that's going to entail, but uh, you got to think, McCarthy has an idea for all these coaching hires, so we'll just have to see what's going on. It's not like he's just get, uh, hiring and interviewing these guys for nothing. Uh, the senior staff, as far as Jerry, Stephen, Stephen Jones and everything, uh, most of the scouts are all at the senior bowl, uh, checking on players. Now, of course they said number one priority is Dak Prescott. Number two priority is Amari Cooper. And that's fine. But, uh, you know, the uh, whole thing to really get out of it is the talk about the drafting. Uh, how do we draft? Do you draft for position? Do you draft for need? Or, you know, do you draft for scheme fits? What What is our plan? Uh, unlike... Rod Manelli and Chris Rashard running the defense, they had their options, you know, of picking players. Unfortunately, some of the players they've busted with the last couple years were supposedly more scheme fit than they were athletic or, you know, even that skilled, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, Tristan Hill barely saw the field. I think he got 12% of the defensive snaps all season. He was a healthy scratch for pretty much every game. Uh, and before that, talk with Charlton. Didn't even finish his rookie contract. You cut him. So, you know, now they're saying, well, Mike McCarthy is saying that from now on, he's going to draft on basically... The player that is the highest rated on your board. It doesn't matter what position. Uh, we'll find a position. You know, if you're athletic and you're our guy, you're our guy. If TJ Watts on the board with Taco Charlton, I'm not going to do it just because uh, Taco's a scheme fit. No, I'm taking TJ Watt because he's the better player. Period. Uh, Tristan Hill and... Uh, Thornhill and Adderley and all the uh, safeties. I'm picking a safety over Tristan Hill. I understand we need a one tech, a three tech, or somebody, but we needed safety way more. I'd have picked the safety because Cowboys have been neglecting safeties and tackles for sheesh, since the 90s. They haven't really put much urgency into those positions. And you see how that has just blown up in our faces over the years. As guys are just running straight through our middle and cashing us straight up the middle. And nobody's scared of our safeties or our defensive tackles anymore. But that's pretty much all the big news coming out right now. The uh, senior bowl's coming up. We'll have to see if the Cowboys are really eyeing anybody than the previously named players, especially the safeties. Uh, we'll just have to see what their plans are going to be. It's going to be a very interesting offseason. 
We don't know where their mindsets are going to be as far as player acquisition. We'll just have to see. And hopefully, we do way better than the last couple seasons, especially in acquiring talent. Because if we're going to go cheap in free agency, at least we know in free agency, we're going for players that will probably make it into the season, not just get cut at the end of training camp like the last couple years with Garrett's talent. All right. Uh, nothing much else to talk about. My daughter here. Uh, thanks again for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I have hope you have a happy hump day. What do you want to say? Make sure to check out our last video. We don't want you to miss out on the things we past said. Exactly. All right. I hope you have a good day. Peace out. Bye.